everybody and welcome to another video of mine. My name is the IT Guy and today we'll be looking at a new uh, and improved, actually new and improved, it's actually more of a more graphical way of booting your system when you're dual booting with Linux and Windows or even if you're running something like a Hackintosh if you are running that on your computer this should work just fine for that because it's simply just a bootloader. But normally we work with uh, know different types of bootloaders including uh, grub bootloader and something like the system dboot bootloader uh, but now we are going to have a look at the refined bootloader and this is actually just specifically made for EFI systems so if you're still running an older system I don't think it's gonna work uh, anyway you can get refined uh, very easily if you're running Ubuntu. You can go over to their website over here. So I still have it opened here. So um, a guy named Rod Smith made this and you can go over to the website uh, rodsbooks.com slash refined and uh, it will give you a brief explanation on how to install refined. So we are just going to use the Debian package it's uh, it is included in um, in the repositories by default with any Debian based uh, operating system. So I am running Pop OS, which is based off of Ubuntu, and as we all know, Ubuntu is a Debian based operating system. So we are going to do that first. So let's go ahead and open up our terminal here, and let's just go ahead and install the. Let's just go go ahead and install refined immediately so we're gonna do sudo apt install refined uh, and what this will do is it will just look for the uh, for the package refined and install it immediately so then let's use the command refined dash install so we just installed refined let's open up our terminal again refined dash install will be the next command we enter Actually, let's sudo that. Probably we'll need sudo writes to do that. Let's enter our password here. And looks like ESP was found on boot slash EFI, which is our EFI file system we mount in Linux. Refine is set as the default boot manager. So let's go ahead and close that now. Let's go ahead and close this. And let's reboot our system and see. Um, yeah, let's just see uh, if Refined uh, was installed and is working properly. So when we go into our BIOS here, I'm in my Gigabyte BIOS here, uh, we can find the Refined BIOS uh, in here. And as you can see, I selected it as the number one boot option. By default, Refined should put itself in the number one spot for boot options. So you shouldn't really have to do anything but you know as you as you might know uh, computers can sometimes be a little bit unpredictable and if for whatever reason it didn't work out that way be sure to go check in your BIOS and see if the refined boot manager is actually uh, at number one to for boot option priorities so okay uh, let's go ahead and save and exit the setup here let's boot into let's boot into refine and see what it looks like Okay, so this is the default uh, boot menu for Refined. As you can see, there are a bunch of options that we actually don't want to use. For example, this is the fallback bootloader uh, that Windows installs by default, and it's uh, located at the uh, EFI, uh, you know, at the uh, EFI. Uh, partition it's located in there so if you pre just press the delete key here we can hide this EFI OS tag because we don't actually use it because it's located at EFI slash boot slash boot x uh, 64 dot EFI uh, but it is as I said it is a fallback option for Windows 10 so let's go ahead and hide that and now we are uh, the only thing that's remaining is the grub bootloader and the default pop os bootloader so uh, actually we can go ahead and remove grub because why would we boot a boot manager into another boot manager so 
Let's go ahead and delete that, or actually hide it. We don't delete it, actually. If we just press the delete key, it's actually hidden. It's not really deleted. And now we have another boot option. Let's go ahead and delete that as well. There we go. And there are only two left right now, so I can choose either to boot into Windows or into Ubuntu. Uh, and Ubuntu, of course, being Pop OS, but if, if you know, you might know that uh, Pop OS is boot is based off of Ubuntu, so Refine will basically just uh, find that uh, operating system as a Ubuntu operating system. So let's go ahead and try to boot into Windows here. It looks like that is working out perfectly. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and uh, reboot again here. And let's see if the bootloader actually saved its settings. And also, let's see if we can boot into Pop OS as well. Okay, so still two options are left, so let's try to boot into Pop OS here. Hey, voila, that works as well. So this was just a short tutorial, a, show, a short little video and showing you the refined bootloader. It's a little bit different from uh, other bootloaders. It's graphical, it's easier to, it's easier on the eye at least. And there are a little bit less options, like if you would go for um, something like Grub, you do have a lot more options for uh, things like uh, recovery mode and stuff like that. I do think that that's still possible in um, Refined, but that will be a little bit too detailed for this video. So uh, yeah, this was just me showing you how to, this was just a quick video of me showing you Refined Bootloader. I hope you like this guys, and if you did, please leave a like and a comment below. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.